Hey everyone, hope you're all doing well. My name's Radabard, you can call me Kyle. If you haven't watched one of my videos before, I'm a commentary YouTuber from Australia that covers interesting topics. And today's topic is very interesting, although very, very sad. It was a topic that was trending about three, four days ago as of filming this. It popped up on my For You page, a lot of people talking about a murder that happened on TikTok. You know, like these stories are sometimes fake. So it's always good to fact check. And that is what I did. And the story is incredibly, incredibly sad. So if you are a person that is sensitive to things to do with murder or Obviously, everyone is, but if it's something that really, really upsets you or just anything regarding that, please click off now. It's a disturbing topic, to say the least. So, I also want to be very respectful in this video. I'm not going to be saying any names in all the screenshots I show and screen grabs. I'm going to be blurring out the names and anything that can identify these people. Although the information is all online, I still want to do my part of being respectful because obviously, the victim's family and those that know them, it's a highly sensitive topic that only happened a few days ago we've got to remember that so that's my disclaimer before we get into today's video so on tiktok on the 25th of february so this month or last month if you're watching this now 14 year old tiktok content creator was charged after fatally stabbing her sister and after doing so they called 911 and confessed what makes this video very distressing is how popular this content creator was on tiktok with millions of likes on their content and no one knew a thing and i don't think anyone could possibly have known anything anyways but it's just disturbing and saddening to know that there's people online that we consume content from all the time who we wouldn't envision doing these things once again it's that whole conversation of just because we follow someone online doesn't mean we actually know them now why this content creator started picking up traction it was after the news of the homicide went public the algorithm started pushing content regarding this content creator onto people's for you pages which is the main page where you want to appear on because it means a lot of people will be viewing your content engaging with it and you will grow there's a reason for this and it's because obviously once news broke out people started obviously connecting the dots with who the content creator was so they would search them and then obviously there would be a snowball effect the snowball would grow bigger because more people would be searching which would mean that sort of content regarding the content creator would appear on people's for you pages now the content creator it's hard not to say the name but i'm just going to keep saying the content creator killed their wheelchair bound sister while their parents slept in their home in Pennsylvania and this is all according to the Lancaster County District Attorney's Office so official documentation official source this is all coming from so officers arrived at the scene and went to the sister's room and obviously they tried to save the sister and they were unsuccessful and the content creator repeatedly told law enforcement, I killed my sister, verbatim, word for word. The sister was found dead at 4.13 a.m. in the morning. So this happened, obviously, in the early hours of the morning, as I said before, the parents slept. And in a direct statement from Lancaster County District Attorney's Office, sorry, I've got allergies, I literally just mowed the lawn. Police indicate there is no threat to public safety. Mannheim Township Police are fully committed to this investigation. Investigators and members of the Lancaster County Major Crimes Unit are still at the residence, collecting evidence and working to determine the circumstances that led to the sister's death so like i said after the death of the sister tiktok started pushing all of the content creators content and anything regarding the content creator so a lot of these conspiracy theories and all that sort of content that you know if you've been on tiktok or social media in general starts to pick up traction people just coming up with stories and such that blowing up which is blurring the truth a lot of videos started getting a lot of traction picking up hundreds of thousands to millions of views quite easily now what the content creator was actually charged with. So they were charged with criminal homicide will and it expected that she'll be heading to a certain prison after arraignment. Anyone that's charged with homicide in Pennsylvania is not able to be granted bail. So they cannot get out if they have the money or, or someone obviously pays the bail to get them out before their hearing. So the content creator stabbed her wheelchair bound sister and I didn't say this at the start because I didn't realize this was the case. But doing a little bit of bit more research while obviously I'm doing this video, the sister had cerebral palsy, which is very, very saddening. In this video, I'm not going to be giving too much of my thoughts on this other than the generalized conversation I want to have because obviously this is a very sensitive topic, especially to the family. And I don't believe adding my two cents into a sensitive topic like this where a lot of people were affected and it's just an incredibly sad story needs too much of an outside opinion because everything is obviously being followed through by the law so yeah but obviously the general consensus is this is an incredibly sad story and i feel for the family 
I really, really do. Everyone, sorry for the change of scenery and change of lighting. My camera actually died because I'm an idiot who always forgets to charge my camera. But yeah, hopefully the lighting doesn't look too bad. For some reason, one of the creepiest pieces of this story was after the content creator confessed to the police. When the police arrived, they found her covered in blood, her sister's blood, obviously, and trying to get the blood off on the snow. But yeah, the content creator's sister was found with a fatal stab wound to the neck. So as I said, this story is incredibly sad. There is no easy way to cover this topic because it makes me incredibly uncomfortable talking about this. I know it probably makes you very uncomfortable listening to this. It needs to be covered. And second of all, we just need to talk about people we, I guess, idolize on social media. I'm not talking about in this specific instance, but we don't know the people that we follow and that includes me you guys just see what i put online and i try to be as transparent as possible but it's the same thing with other content creators it's very very hard to be fully transparent when obviously there is boundaries and second of all you are just a person on a screen to some people you're never going to know the person fully so you need to obviously do your research and understand that content creators are still people and in some cases like this case people do horrible things. So far it says an official motive has not yet been determined and the content creator is being charged as an adult for murder and before their account was taken down they had 22,000 followers. And when news.com, I know such a great website, <laughs> reached out for TikTok for a comment, TikTok didn't immediately return that request. They didn't provide a statement because obviously they do want to have a response, but run it through PR first, obviously. But this is a very, very sad topic. I, I didn't expect to be covering this. And second of all, I didn't expect this to appear on my For You page. But that is the whole story. There's nothing more that I can see so far, but I wanted to speak about it. It needed to be covered because Obviously, I see a lot of people not fully understanding this story. And second of all, just talking about following content creators in general. But that is all. I should be having a video come out a little bit after this, maybe a few days. I love you all. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.